Hey guys, this is that's that's the Apple Kid, and uh, I'm going to be making a tethered jailbreaking video for 4.3.5. Um, it will work on the iPod Touch 4, the iPhone 4, and the iPad 2. Again, note this is a tethered jailbreak. Now let's get into it. Uh, first off, you're going to want to restore your iPod or any iPod device that you're using to the new um, uh, 4.3.5 firmware. And just to show you guys that I have my iPod Touch 4th Gen is what I'm going to be using. Um, it is restored. I didn't set it up as any iPod right now. I'm just It's, it's a clean restore uh, to show you guys that this is really on 4.3.5. Go into about. I'm sorry, it's a little blurry. And there you go. I have 4.3.5 there. iPod Touch. Alright, so let's go back to here. So, first off, you're going to want to do that. Uh, second, you're going to want to download the Red Snow Beta 2 version. I will have a uh, download link for Windows and Mac. Um, when you click on the link, it will automatically pop up as a download. So it's going to look like this. You're going to save it. Uh, I prefer to save it to your desktop. That's where I save any of my files that I'm going to download from the uh, internet. It'll download pretty fast, and then I'll show you what to do when it's done downloading. Sorry for the noise, guys. Once that's done, you will have a, a new tab. It'll look like a sheet of paper with the uh, Internet Explorer. Um, logo on it and what you're going to want to do is right click it and then extract all files and you're going to click OK now once that's done you will have a folder here and you're going to open up the folder uh, and there's going to be another folder so you're just going to want to open that up and then you'll see red snow on the bottom here so you're just going to double click that and then here you're just going to hit jailbreak and it says jailbreak and install Cydia so let's jailbreak it it's going to start saying to put you in DFU mode um, I'm going to tell you the steps now so if you want to go along with the video um, as soon as you hit this next button, you're going to want to hold the uh, lock button for three seconds and then start holding and not let go of the lock button and keep holding the home button for 10 seconds and then let go of the lock button and keep holding the home button for 15 seconds. And I'm going to show you guys when to let go because sometimes if you let go a little bit earlier, the Apple logo will pop up and then you have to redo the jailbreak. So let's get started. holding the lock, lock and home releasing the lock and you're just going to want to hold the home button and you guys just keep holding the home button until this whole bar is loaded up and up the, at the top here you'll see something that says It'll say uh, restarting boot, and then the iPod will jailbreak. For some reason, mine didn't work, so I'm just going to retry the step. I have to wait for the iPod to turn back on. Sorry about that. Uh, if you did it right, um, it should start jailbreaking. Your screen will turn white, and then you have a lot of words scrolling down, and then you'll see the little um, pineapple across your screen with a loading bar on the bottom. Let's go here. Let's start it from the lock screen. Let's open this up. Jailbreak. Holding the lock. Holding the home in the lock.
Releasing the lock, but keep holding the home button. It says it's exploiting with Lime Rain. And then it says uploading first stage, waiting for reboot, and then that's when you're going to let go. Your screen will turn white like that. It's saying identifying build. It'll go through this whole process on the computer. And then here you're just going to click on install Cydia. You can uh, enable or disable the battery percentage. And enable the multi multitask gestures, which is already in 4.3.5. So you're just going to want to hit next. And it's going to say waiting for reboot. And you'll see this pop up on your iDevice. If it's correct, you'll see this will eventually disappear and you'll see some other stuff pop on. I'm going to let this whole video play as I'm doing it so you guys can see what should be happening to your iPod or your any other device you're using I'll zoom in here so you can see what the words are saying It's just saying please wait everywhere on the screen. And uh, just for me to explain to you guys if you don't know what a tethered jailbreak is, a tethered jailbreak is when you have to, whenever you turn off your device, when you turn it back on, you have to plug it into um, any computer that's around you. You have to make sure you have the same red snow and uh, a cord. This is what you're definitely going to need. Um, and you have to start it up with red snow. It's the only way to turn it back on. That's the only way it'll turn back on. There's no other way. So just a note for you guys again, if you didn't know that. Um, when there is a untethered jailbreak for the uh, 4.3.5, I will be doing a review on that. Because, I mean, I'm not too fond. Because I have an iPhone 4 and I have a tethered jailbreak. But um, I like to keep uh, my Red Snow and my firmware just in case on, the, uh, on a uh, USB drive on my keychain at all times. And the... Uh, those retractable USB data cables for the iPhone. So as you see here, it says, it says uh, rest rest restarting uh, bundles. And right now, it will load to the home screen and it will turn on. But your Cydia will be a, uh, a blank white icon. And when you click on it, it will just crash on you. So I'll show you what to do for the steps from there. And you'll see Cydia here in the white tab. And I would say don't click on it. What you're going to want to do is lock it. And go back to the same red snow. And on the bottom, oh sorry, on the bottom here, you'll see it says extras. And you're just going to do a uh, just boot. They have, a, they have other options, but you're just going to want to just boot. Just boot tethered right now is what the option is. So you're going to hit just boot. And you're going to go through the same exact process as if you were jailbreaking it. So once you hit next, start holding the lock button. Home and lock. Around four seconds, it should uh, go blank. Release the lock and keep holding the home button. And around eight seconds is when you see that the iPod and you just again want to keep holding it until it says uploading first stage waiting for reboot you let go and you'll see this white screen pop up 
and once you see a pineapple sign that means is a it's a good thing and there you go your iPod or iPod touch I mean not uh, or iPhone 4 or your iPad 2 is a officially jailbroken in 4.3.5 the little pineapple there Just gonna wait for it to load here. And you can exit out of here of the folders. And uh, once if you want, you can most likely drag the uh red snow out to the desktop, and then when you're done with that, just delete these two here and make sure you keep the uh, red snow down here. Okay, so this is officially jailbroken on four point three point five slide to unlock and I will go to my Cydia just to show you guys that it is working uh, hold on let me just sign into my Wi-Fi here and you can select uh, user hacker developer let's just go for with user for now and then up here it'll say done And there you go, it is officially jailbroken on 4.3.5. And again, I'll go to the settings to show you guys. And if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to please rate, subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, keep watching my videos. And this is that Zesty Apple Kid. Peace.